Hello Pixel Gamers, Chip Dippers and Retro Enthusiasts. My name is Marius and today I would like to show you a Raspberry Pi based arcade console that I built for my brother's birthday. It's called the Super Fightron. So this is it. This is the Super Fightron. As you can see, it has um, eight face buttons and a control stick. It is um, a retro console built with a Raspberry Pi. And um, I even dremeled out the, the plugs for USB controllers and on the back side we have here the HDMI port and the micro USB um, power outlet. So, um, first things first, I would say let's um, screw this thing open and show you what is inside. So let's open this thing up. There we go. So as you can see here, this is a Raspberry Pi 3 model B. And um, it's the model with uh, the regular USB ports. Um, the regular HDMI port and it still has the um, micro USB plug. I put on some heat sinks to um, cope the risk of um, this thing overheating in, in this box. As you can see here are uh, quite a lot of USB cables going out. Um, these are for one um, directly connected to the USB ports on the front here. So you can plug in any USB devices or uh, gamepads that you would like. And um, all the way over there goes another cable to the um, USB joystick controller board. This is um, a pretty standard board that you can get on eBay and it um, is perfectly fine for my purpose. Um, there, I'm sure there are a lot of uh, way better USB controllers out there. Um, but as you can see here, I connected all the buttons um, directly to this uh, to this board, as well as the joy joystick. And I had to um, to shorten the um, the cable because um, the cable that comes with uh, this USB controller is way too long. So I just um, cut it and I resoldered the the wires um, inside and I placed the, the remaining wire in this, um, in this case going right to this um, USB port over there. Um, the HDMI port, um, it has a little wire that goes um, down there. So this is what comes out of the console. It's the um, HDMI TV signal and above that is the um, USB, the micro USB power uh, power port. One thing I would like to show you is how I actually got um, the Raspberry Pi to stay in place. So I didn't actually um, use any glue or something. I have a friend that is um, into 3D printing. He's even building his own 3D printers. And he had those really tiny um, screws that I was able to get from him. They even have these um, little bases. And so I drilled holes through the case and I was able to get the Raspberry Pi as well as the USB controller secured in place. So 
They won't move at all. They're tightly fit in there. The only downside of drilling holes through the case is of course you have to deal with um, the underside of the case and so this is um, kind of the only thing that I don't really like about this. These are um, the, the screws that are pointing out. I can peel this thing off to show you what is underneath. There you can see this is how the screw is secured and I didn't want any sharp edges so the best thing I came up with was putting some uh, tape over over it. Um, it's not perfect but um, maybe you have some better ideas. All right so that's it so far for the insides. I think it's uh, worth mentioning that I dremeled out um, all those uh, ports to um, give the console a much cleaner look um, and that uh, not rely on the um, on the Raspberry Pi ports and maybe dremel out a whole uh, section of the of the housing to expose um, the uh, the original Raspberry Pi uh, ports as you can see here I'm just not a fan of, of you know exposing so much um, of the board if um, there's an option to have a really nice housing as you can see here all right so now let's uh, close it up again don't squeeze these cables So as you can see I'm a big uh, Street Fighter fan so I chose this uh, Ryu design and um, so this is my personal um, Super Fightron. I have one for my brother built with a Ken design and it has um, all black buttons. Alright, as mentioned before, the plastic protection of the artwork is from an IKEA frame uh, that I took and I took a very sharp knife to cut out the shape so that it would um, fit on this um, build. And I had quite some trouble drilling out the holes um, for the buttons, so I went to, uh, to my uncle and he has a very good uh, workshop. and. Um, we drilled out the holes um, with his special machinery. See, it was uh, quite a mess to um, to have the holes drilled out, but in the end, it worked pretty well. So I won't recommend um, cutting out the holes with a knife. Um, you should probably get some tools to to have this properly cut out. Otherwise, um, you know the plastic can can rip. As you can see here, there are some some cracks 
here and there. So it's not very uh, <laughs> it's not very durable. So you have to be quite careful. Even when I replaced my original buttons with um, the um, Super Nintendo, the the classic Famicom, or as we had them in Europe. Um, the nice um, yellow, red, green, blue buttons. And so um, I did some, some damage to this casing, but I think it was, uh, it was worth having um, this classic color scheme that I grew up with. All right, so now I will show you what this thing is capable of. Hello, welcome back. So we're now here in my dedicated little man cave and I Hook this thing to my TV, so HDMI cable, micro USB cable, and um, I can actually put this thing on my lap and start playing right away. All right. I'm sorry about the picture quality. I'm not a big fan of filming off of the screen either, but um, it has to do now. So, as you can see, I um, put on the recal box on this little Raspberry Pi 3. And um, yeah, I am actually controlling this through the Super Fight Run. And so now we can load up some of my favorite games of all time. Alright, let's go! Get him this time. You win. So since um, not everyone is a fan of um, classic arcade uh, joystick controls, um, it is absolutely uh, possible to use the Raspberry Pi's built-in Bluetooth functionality to connect a lovely 8-bit do controller and this is what I'm going to do right now. So I can use the controls of the Super Fightron to choose the controller I want to um, connect and that's what I'm doing right now. There we go. Connection established. And so now I can use this lovely controller. Sit back on the couch and use the Super Fightron. And this concludes the introduction of the Super Fightron. Hope you liked it and I will see you next time. Bye bye.